Hey everybody, today we're going to put the fun in rosary fundamentals. Enjoy. Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal. And this is Ascension Presents. This, this video is for those who are just beginning to learn how to pray the rosary or those who may be saying the rosary but who are never really taught some of the fundamentals of how to pray it, who are never given permission to lay a real deep foundation in, in the rosary and in the mysteries. And just were very much like encouraged, like, hey, you got to start saying the full rosary every day and maybe picked up some bad habits along the way. To help us understand this problem that I've observed to myself and in others, I want to look actually at like this, this analogy, the image of weightlifting. It's a really common thing if you were ever into weightlifting, like, hey, like, don't sacrifice form. Don't sacrifice form for weight. And, and personal trainers, they're always like, hey, form, 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 form. And the reason for it is they know this human tendency to want to be able to um, perform at a higher level than we actually are able to. And to get to that higher level, we sacrifice form. For example, as a young man, it's really common for somebody to want to be able to curl more weight than they can do with good form by, by rocking, etc. And they're sacrificing form because they want to for themselves or for others, give the impression of being able to lift more, to do more, to be stronger than they actually are. And this is problematic, right? Because it can lead to injury, because it can lead to actually not building the muscles you think. And in the in the exercise scenario, this is this is dangerous because it can lead you to either like getting hurt or just to not really working the muscles you think you're working. And this is just a really common human experience, which also applies and spills into Often the way in which we can, we can approach the rosary, I know as a young man, the first thing I really learned about the rosary is like, hey, you got to pray a rosary every day. But nobody really taught me the fundamentals and nobody really gave me permission to slowly start to pick up this habit of praying the rosary. And so I was trying to pray the rosary and trying to say the whole thing, but at the sacrifice of form and the bad fruit of it for me was that I really never developed a taste for the rosary as a young man. It was just sort of these prayers that I said, this, this routine I had to do, this thing I had to check off the to-do list of like holy devotions, but it never really connected me to our Lord or Our Lady. It never really connected me to the mysteries of Jesus' life. And I know this was a struggle for me, but I think it's also a struggle for many of us, especially for those of you who might just be starting to pick up and develop the habit of the rosary for the first time. It's likely you've heard, you gotta be saying a rosary. It's likely you've even been saying, hey, you gotta be saying like a rosary every day. What you're probably not hearing is like, here's how we can do it. Or I wanna give you permission to build up the muscle. I want you to, I wanna give you permission to really lay a foundation, to learn the form, um, and, and to take your time to building up even to praying a full rosary, right? Because the end is for you to really love the rosary. And I live with some brothers who are praying the rosary constantly. Whenever they're walking, they have a rosary in their hand because it so deeply connects them to our Lord and our Lady. And that's what I want for you. And that's what I want for you. And so here's a game plan. Here's a proposal about how you can kind of get back to the fundamentals or start with the fundamentals. First of all, Think about how, how much do you want to be saying the rosary? For some of you, maybe like right now, you really want to pray one rosary a day. For some of you, maybe it's, okay, I really would love to be saying three rosaries in a week, right? The goal, the goal is certainly at least to be getting to one a day, but it's okay if that's not where we are. It's okay if we work our way up to it. So, so the proposal is this. Okay, number one, think about how much you want to be saying the rosary. And what my proposal now for you is this, is like, for example, if I want to be praying one rosary a day, but I haven't really developed the good habits, I don't really have good form, I'm just saying, you know, the prayers. Um, I, my proposal to you is, is like, carve out 15 minutes um, a day, right? Usually it takes about 15 minutes to pray a rosary. So, okay, I'm going to take 15 minutes a day devoted to developing the habit of praying the rosary. And what, what I would say is this, for 10 minutes, dedicate your time to reading and praying with the scriptures which are linked to one of the mysteries for example for the annunciation for the annunciation get out luke's gospel and read that account and pray with it and sit with it for at least 10 minutes and after you've sat with it for 10 minutes pray one decade of the rosary meditating upon reflecting back upon what you just read what you just prayed with 
and consider that 15 minutes your rosary for the day. Again, if you're trying to do maybe one, one a day, the next 15 minute period, go ahead and look at the second joyful mystery, the visitation. Again, read Luke's gospel, spend 10 minutes with it, and then conclude your time of prayer with one decade of the rosary. And by going about it in this way, what we're gonna be doing is we're really going to be assimilating the mysteries. We're really gonna be soaking in the word of God. We're gonna be just getting good form. And so take your time with this, right? For 10 minutes a day, meditate with the, the mystery, with scripture, conclude with one decade of the rosary. All right, so then after you've kind of, you've prayed like this through all of the mysteries, maybe done it twice, you might actually want to take some time and do this as well with the Hail Mary and with the Our Father. Again, just, just dedicating some time to really understanding these prayers so that as time goes on, and you start to being able to do more than just one mystery at a time in this 15 minute span, as you begin to try and to, to start saying the rosary, not just in the chapel, but, but while you're driving, while you're on the train, uh, while you're grocery shopping, like the more that you've laid this foundation, um, the better your form is, sort of the, the higher you're going to be able to build, the more spontaneous is gonna be your capacity to really pray the rosary and, and to have it connect you to our Lord and Our Lady, even as you're going about daily tasks. And so again, the summary is this. Summary is this, don't sacrifice form with the rosary because you feel some sort of insecurity or duty to start saying a full rosary, meaning all of, all of the decades, all of the, the Our Fathers and Hail Marys, um, once a day immediately. Um, don't, don't fall into that trap at the cost of forming bad habits, which in the long run, uh, could be dangerous and could lead you to having a distaste for the rosary. Take your time, lay the foundation, really immerse yourself in, in the scriptures, particularly these mysteries of the rosary. Take some time to really sit with the prayers, particularly the Our Father and the Hail Mary, and slowly but surely um, build up this habit. The goal is to fall really deeply in love with our Lord, to develop a real filial relationship with Our Lady as Mother, to just sit with and soak with the mysteries of our Lord's life, death, and resurrection, and to have the rosary be a prayer which can accompany us for our whole lives. And because we want to build the devotion so high, let's make sure we begin by laying a really firm foundation. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hoping this is helpful. If you want some more fundamentals about how to pray the rosary, we got another video on Ascension, which I feel pretty good about as well. Uh, but hopefully this leads you deeper into uh, the rosary, its relationship with Our Lady and our Lord. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to being with you again next week. Remember, we are pilgrims on this earth. Somos peregrinos, poco a poco, little by little. Vamos a seguir. We're going to make it. God bless you all.